Hello. Today we are again here to discuss another another uh, part of the digestive tract, how the digestion takes place, and uh, the topic of today's discussion is uh, digestion in uh, duodenum. Okay, it is the it is the, the part third part where the digestion occurs. First part where the digestion takes place that is the oral cavity. Okay, oral cavity. And then comes uh, the, the stomach, where the digestion occurs. In, in, in one of the lectures, I have discussed how the digestion takes place. You can, you can access that uh, in my channel. Bio, biology teacher, Sagir. Okay, this is the name of my channel. If you want to subscribe, okay, thank you. I would be thankful to you. Let's uh, come to the discussion of today okay well as the food material reaches at the end of the stomach that is uh, in the form of a semi fluid and that is known as chyme chyme okay and uh, it enters from uh, from the pyloric part of the stomach passing the pyloric sphincter and enters into duodenum okay you know the food material in the in the stomach that is uh, acidic okay due to the presence of uh, hydrochloric acid in that lecture you have said it already and here it is neutralized it is neutralized uh, by the presence of uh, what's sodium carbonate ions okay sodium carbonate ions are are reproduced by pancreas okay and as the, as the pancreatic juice reaches here into duodenum uh, the food material is uh, is converted into what the neutralized form from acidic to neutralized form now first of all we'll we'll discuss the structures which are involved in the di digestion digestion in duodenum and uh, then we will uh, see the mechanism i mean the function of those uh, chemical biochemicals which uh, take part in the digestive process in duodenum now this is duodenum okay it is uh, you know uh, 12 inches at uh, 25 20 to 25 uh, centimeter in 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 length okay in in a healthy human being this is uh, you see liver this is liver okay and this structure is known as this structure is known as gall bladder what gall bladder from the gall bladder the fluid known as bile that that is actually accumulated here in the gall bladder and that uh, that moves from here to towards uh, what this uh, duct and this duct from here to here is known as cystic duct what cystic duct i have i have labeled it cystic duct and uh, and another pair of the ducts is also present and those ducts are independent of uh, uh, the the gall bladder i mean gall is produced okay and that enters into these ducts this is uh, this is what the left this is left uh, uh, what hepatic duct what left hepatic duct and this one is uh, this is right hepatic duct right hepatic duct and this one is this one is what common hepatic duct so two ducts they join together one from right side and the other from the left side they join and form the common hepatic duct the common hepatic duct joins the cystic duct and forms common bile duct this is common bile duct this common bile duct transport the bile towards duodenum but it is it here joins another duct which is known as what pancreatic duct this is this is pancreatic duct and this whole structure is known as what pancreas pancreas you know consists of two parts two parts one is 
the endocrine pancreas and the other is exocrine pancreas okay the exocrine pancreas produces what enzymes and endocrine pancreas produces hormones okay the exocrine pancreas consists of the groups of the cells scattered here and there and those groups are known as i have shown here in the black ink this one and this one and this one this one this one and 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 here could be present these are known as what acini singular is acinus what acini and and singular is acinus okay acini produce pancreatic juice okay which contain different enzymes and those are what trypsinogen chymotrypsinogen and pancreatic amylase okay now these islet these islets islets i have shown here the cells in the form of islets and these are known as what islets of langerhans after the name of the discoverer discoverer of uh, these uh, cells okay now the the pancreatic duct and common bile duct they join together and form hepato hepato pancreatic duct hepato pancreatic duct the pancreatic duct does not enter hepato pancreatic duct rather does not enter as the pancreatic duct rather it forms an ampulla like structure ampulla okay the ampulla enters into the duodenum and at the end of the ampulla is present what uh, sphincter that sphincter is known as what sphincter of od what sphincter of od okay here is i have i have tried to show i have tried to to show it here it is it has been shown you can see this is what ampulla this is ampulla and this is sphincter of od okay now the pancreatic uh, juice enters into duodenum and uh, gallbladder enters gallbladder um, uh, accumulate the 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 gall or the or the bile and uh, these uh, uh, come these i mean uh, right and the left uh, hepatic ducts they 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 bring what the bile into here and as it enters i mean pancreas pancreatic juice enters here and bile enter enter here what is now their function we have to see here you know, our food material consists of lipids and uh, proteins and carbohydrates the, the digestion of the carbohydrates starts in the oral cavity okay but they are not completely digested the digestion of proteins starts here in the stomach but the proteins are not digested completely in the stomach okay here the 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 digestion of further digestion of lipids and further digestion of proteins and further digestion of uh, carbohydrates takes place okay but make sure that <coughs> sorry the digestion is not completed here again you will see you will see in the in the ileum the completion of the digestion takes place in the ileum not in the duodenum okay now first of all we'll see the digestion of uh, lipids the digestion of lipids takes place digestion of lipids takes place in two stages the first is what emulsification of of lipids you know lipids of the large molecules and uh, these are emulsified by what bile here you can see here lipids are emulsified by the bile the emulsified lipids the emulsified lipids are acted upon by lipase which is the part of lipase lipase and uh, these are converted into fatty acids and glycerols clear okay now you have stated you have stated in case of digestion in uh, stomach in stomach 
the digestion takes place and peptides and plateaus are formed. Okay, these peptides are acted upon by trypsin here in the duodenum and are converted into peptides again, not amino acids. Trypsin is not the axopeptidase like uh, amylase. You know, amylase. Suppose this is this is starch. Amylase would 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 hydrolyze the 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 last part of what uh, amylose and either maltose or glucose would be formed. But in case of uh, proteins, neither pepsin in case of uh, stomach nor trypsin are axopeptidases. Rather, these are the endopeptidases. So they cleave the molecules uh, within within the molecule. Okay, um, I mean they cleave they may cleave here or here, not at the end. Well, again, smaller peptides are formed from the larger ones by the action of trypsin. There is another enzyme. You know, trypsin is present in pancreatic juice. There is another enzyme, chymotrypsin. Chymotrypsin that breaks again the uh, peptides into smaller peptides. Okay, and starch is also the constituent of what pancreatic juice. So here is you see what these are. I mean trypsin. Chymotrypsin and uh, what pancreatic amylase. These are the three major enzymes present in case of what? In case of what? The pancreatic juice. The fourth one is what? Lipase. Okay. One, two, three, four. Four enzymes are there which are involved in the digestion of different types of the, of the uh, food materials carbohydrates, lipids and proteins. Now, lipase is produced in the active form. Amyl amylase is produced in the active form, but trypsin and chymotrypsin are not produced in the active form, rather inactive forms are in the, in the inactive forms are produced. So how here is the question how they are activated. Let us come to the activation of trypsinogen and uh, chymotrypsinogen. Ka trypsinogen, here you can see, trypsinogen is acted, is, is acted upon by an enzyme which is produced from the walls of, from the walls of uh, duodenum. That enzyme is known as enteropeptidase or enterokinase. Okay. And trypsinogen is converted into trypsin. Okay, now trypsin is also acted upon by already present trypsin. And like as you stated in case of uh, uh, in case of activation of uh, pepsin, pepsin you know you you stated pepsin is activated activated by either HCl or that is activated by already active pepsin uh, pepsin okay and pepsin convert the uh, pepsin convert the pepsinogen into pepsin you stated that story in case of uh, digestion in digestion in uh, stomach well the type of activation of trypsinogen by trypsin is known as this type of activation is known as auto activation what auto activation clear now how chymotrypsinogen is converted into chymo chymotrypsinogen is converted into into chymotrypsin chymotrypsinogen is converted into chymotrypsin in the in the duodenum by the action of what trypsin okay so trypsin has two functions one digestion of peptides which are transported from uh, from stomach into duodenum and activation of trypsinogen and third activation of chymotrypsinogen clear and uh, if it is clear 
And if, if you have understood in a big way, then I would like to request you people to uh, subscribe my channel. It would be an encouragement for me. And uh, if you share this lecture to your friends, to your relative, it would be a benefit of the humanity. Okay, thank you very much.